Anyway, this is the artist studio, and it even gets a little cutscene. It is you, no? You interfere with my afterlife's work. Yep, this guy was painting all the non-portrait ghosts, and they were coming to life because that's how much of a ghost he is. You filthy swan, you're blind to the life I give to my... I don't think you're really giving ghosts that much life, but he's done very well. I will show you the mastery of me art. Or wait, what? My art. I don't think I have the right accent there. Okay, good thing they're on fire now. Uh, uh, it's a bit of a shame you're all on fire. Uh, man, that sucks. It's almost as if I didn't want to actually fight you. Oh, boy. How scary. The scary part of them is how much HP they have. I'm not scared of the actual ghosts. I'm not afraid of no ghost. There we go. Okay, goodbye. And now all the ones with significant amounts of HP are dead and gone. Don't like the grabby ghosts. Especially the 20 HP grabby ghosts. I mean, just... Okay, I was... I thought that exposed their heart, but I guess not. I like the noises they make when they're screaming in horror from burning. I guess it's not really horror. It's just pain. Okay, and these shy ghosts are probably the last ones that I'd be benefited by burning, because the trash can ghosts just have so much HP it would take a while, and, uh... The hangy ghosts don't have any HP, and that was pretty cool. So yeah, this is the most trash can ghost you ever fight at one time in the game, for what that's worth, I believe. There's like two in one of the early rooms that you fight at a time, but this is actually probably the hardest part of the fight from how many bananas there are everywhere. Or how many bananas there can be if you're not thoroughly cleaning them up like I am. But yeah, Vincent Van Gogh is one of my favorite ghosts, just from character design and your actually, how you actually fight him, because it's fun to have like a ghost arena at the end of the game like this. Okay, whoops. That was less than ideal. Why am I so bad at this? I should keep my flashlight turned off sometimes. Goodbye. Wait, what? I was vacuuming that up and it slipped me. Uh, this is not very good. There we go. Goodbye. Uh, banana. Those were the band's bananas. <sighs> there we go. Hopefully this should be about it now that there are no bananas that aren't created by his suffering. And this is a bit of a pushover for the last ghost. I mean, they are making bombs, but this also happens. Yeah, that whole zero HP thing sort of makes them less than the most efficient ghost. I still like how they laugh, though. It's quite unsettling. I also like the ones that just hang and don't drop bombs, so they're like existing solely to be freaky. My, my creations, but even if I disappear, my work will live on. Zati's right, nest the past, art is eternal, huh? You say that only when my creations he's left, but these cannot be. Is that a laws? What is the last one of his creations? The treasure chest? Those little fish ghosts, maybe? Anyway, he seems to be going down pretty quickly. That was nice. One more big pearl to ensure my victory. And, oh, he was technically the fourth boss. Sort of. I got the spade key. Pretty cool. That is the last key at the door in the game. I like how the treasure chest picture opens. I thought the treasure chest just appeared in the room, but no, it actually just opened. That's cool. And I did not press A on the door. I pressed A on the thing that had the boo in it. There we go. Boutique. That's chick. Don't know how to pronounce 
your fancy French's game. That was weird. Please, please, please go this way. Thank you. Oh, you're stuck in the middle. And these boos that actually put up a fight are annoying. Once again, please go the way that would be most beneficial to me. Thank you, boo. Hey, there's what a sculpture of Biff Atlas and Lydia in the back here. Mario. Hmm. Ah, boo. Why do you even allow in hallways that aren't fairly long like the main story hallways? Yeah, I mean the this in the basement as well as the second and first floors basically have the same layout, which is kind of neat, I guess. Although, I mean, I'd say a bit lazy, but really it is supposed to be a mansion. It's not supposed to be a well-designed dungeon or anything. For trickery and treachery and... I mean, makes it almost seem more mazy in this... I mean... I've played this game long enough. If you asked, if you told me to go to a random room, I'd probably find it before too long, but it is a bit harder than most games to navigate, I'd sing. Yes, I'd sink. And with that, I have all the booze. Yep, it just drops a yellow diamond. You give those booze what for, Luigi? Yeah, thanks for your special message. Oh well. Another, t what is that? 20% of the debt gone. Almost oh, enough for a gold Luigi's Mansion. Wait, what? Mario. Yes, I'm still suspicious in Pikmin 2 how the debt seemed to include the cost of tr plating the ship gold. Um, probably shouldn't get too into that in the middle of a Luigi's Mansion Let's Play, but still bothers me. I probably could have teleported with a mirror, but honestly, it's not that much extra, and I mean... And actually, wait, no, this isn't where I think it is, is it? No, so despite the fact you got that spade key, you're not technically done with Area 4 yet. Yeah, Area 4 is marked with pink, Area 3 is marked with uh, green, I think, Area 2 is blue, and Area 1 is yellow. Pretty sure that's how it goes down.